Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Deep Understanding of Research Papers. Today, in this tutorial, I am going to explain uh, a paper uh, in NLP called CM is Recurrent Architecture for Learning Sentence Similarity. And uh, as you can see, I have changed the uh, slides, uh, colors, and everything, and also I have moved into uh, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint instead of uh, Google Slides. Uh, because I am using a, a pen tablet where I can actually write for example like this like like this here uh, to explain uh, the content better and uh, so in this uh, tutorial I am going to cover this paper called CM is recurrent architecture for learning sentence similarity by Jonas Muller and Aditya Tagarajan Jonas Muller from uh, MIT and Aditya Tagarajan from uh, MSRIT Karnataka so uh, the tutorial is going to first cover the overview of the paper then we will see what is uh, Manhattan LSTM uh, model and then uh, we will see this uh, sentence relatedness scoring then we will see uh, the experiments they have conducted in this paper and then we will see some results. So so uh, in this in the overview uh, basically uh, this paper is uh, something like uh, CM is adaptation or CM is version of uh, CM is version of uh, the LSTM version of CM is network. So as as you know, like uh, in CM is network, uh, uh, basically it was published in 2016 by uh, Jan Lecon and team, where uh, you can compare two different images and find out how similar those two images are. And uh, most of the work uh, before to, before this paper was mostly on using uh, image uh, convolution neural networks and uh, finding out uh, something like, uh, for example. For example, let's say you are given an image, two image, and uh, you want to find out how good, how similar these two images are. For that, you could simply use a CNN. Uh, sorry for the bad image. Uh, so for something like this, CNN. You feed this image to the CNN and feed this another image to CNN. Finally, you find out how similar these two images are using some score, right? Or you can use a loss function, something like contrastive loss or max margin loss kind of thing to find out how similar they are. So in this case, uh, we are going to use instead of CNN, you could use a LSTM where we can process the sentences uh, which are uh, basically sequence, uh, time sequences basically. So you could feed these time sequences into LSTM and find out how similar they are. So that is the second point here as you can see we want to find out semantically how similar two sentences are right? and uh, they show that uh, the performance is uh, very good uh, compared to other models like TLSTM and, uh, and uh, like normal skip thought uh, model and uh, so as I said uh, LSTM for example let's say you have two LSTM let's say L1 and L2, L1 processes uh, uh, sequence 1 and L2 processes sequence 2 and finally we combine the end representation not combine like we find out the similarity or find out the distance between the last hidden state uh, representation basically the last timestamp so hidden state vector and uh, we find uh, the similarity uh, by using those two vector by, by using this Manhattan distance and uh, they have showed uh, using uh, SIG data set uh, they got uh, performance improvement compared to old other models and uh, this is the whole architecture of uh, the the Manhattan LSTM where you have uh, let's say three words one uh, sorry uh, sorry about that uh, you have three different words let's say uh, you have uh, he is a, he is smart is a sentence a guy truly wise man is another sentence you can call this as uh, sentence number S1 uh, sorry for that uh, so you can call this as a uh, sentence number S1 and you can call this as a sentence number S2 right and this sentence so I will let write it here let's say you have a sentence S1 which has uh, x n number of word and you have a sentence S2 which has x1 uh, x uh, sorry uh, let's say y1 y2 and uh, ym so this could be different uh, length sequences you want to know like how similar S1 and S2 are right so this you want to find out so not equal means uh, semantically how good they are right so for that what i could do is i can feed these sentence sequence to an lstm and we also feed this uh, sequence to another lstm like these two lstm here because you can see here we have uh, x uh, we have is smart as a sentence we are going to feed it to lstm the input could be x1 a is basically the sentence a x1 x2 x3 and uh, that goes to lstm and gets the hidden vector 
and uh, same way you feed the sentence s2 through this and uh, these could be the embeddings of these words and uh, the last hidden layer vector the hidden state vector for example if uh, i have four word sentence s1 and uh, the six word sentence s2 then what happens is h4 uh, a will be the last uh, hidden layer uh, last timestamps hidden vector from sentence a and h6 uh, b is my last uh, hidden state uh, vector for the sentence b right and i want to know i want to compare the distance between these two so for that we use the manhattan lstm equation uh, where you basically take the norm of uh, difference between the two vectors and you compute exponential of uh, this uh, negative of this norm right so basically it goes like this so the distance so the distance is uh, is something like so you, you find uh, you can generally you can say it as T A which is the length of the sentence A uh, A, A sub superscript and H uh, T B and uh, sentence uh, uh, B and you can find the norm of these two uh, and then uh, you can take minus of this and exponential of this term will give you the distance and this will always be in between uh, 0 comma 1 right and so this is how you compute the uh, the distance which is uh, this part here and uh, finally you get a number uh, you can say if the number is uh, uh, closer to zero then the similarity is less and if they are approximately one then uh, the sentence similarity is good so coming to the data set uh, so these guys are using a data set called uh, sick data set and uh, in the six data sick data set we have uh, uh, 992 sentences uh, sentence pairs with uh, uh, sorry 9 not 992 9927 sentence pairs with uh, 5000 training and uh, 2000 uh, for a 4000 testing uh, splits and uh, each sentence pair is uh, labeled in the range of 0 1 comma 5 where 1 uh, says uh, very less uh, semantic similarity and 5 is uh, very very good semantic similarity and uh, these were actually uh, obtained during the during the labeling so they were given to 10 different individuals the same sentence and the av scores are averaged for these 10 uh, individuals and kept it as that final number so and uh, so for the baseline uh, they have trained the skip thought rnn and uh, the examples are like this for example you have uh, in the sick data set so let's assume m is the uh, sco output or a score from the Manhattan LSTM which is uh, this paper basically this paper this paper what this paper predicts and S is uh, what I said the skip thought uh, algorithm uh, by Ryan Kiros and uh, G is the ground truth which is what the label given by humans right so so let's see like for the first example the sentence is little girl is looking at a woman is the first sentence the second sentence is young girl looking at a woman in a costume is somewhat similar both these two sentences are somewhat similar and uh, ground truth is 4.7 and uh, skip thought gets you 4.5 and uh, manhattan gets you 4.8 which is closer to uh, uh, ground truth manhattan is closer to ground truth second sentence you can see the person is performing tricks on motorcycle is the ground truth sentence the first sentence a this you can think of as a sentence number a this you can think of as sentence number b now the performer is tricking a person on a motorcycle so that is the second sentence uh, looks like the ground, ground truth is uh, 2.6 basically the performer the, the person is performing tricks on motorcycle is one sentence the perform is performer is tricking a person on a motorcycle these two are not exactly similar semantically so the score is 2.6 right but what the skip thought predicts is 4.4 which says uh, the the skip thought model says these two are almost similar but uh, manhattan says these two are not exactly similar these two are uh, somewhat different so it actually uh, approximately similar to the ground truth and the third example you can see someone is pouring ingredient into a pot this is sentence number a and uh, this is sentence number the man is removing vegetables from a pot those are completely two different sentences so uh, skip third sorry the ground truth is uh, 2.4 which is uh, 
which is okay because these two are not sent and similar and semantically similar and skip thought still uh, thinks these two are similar and uh, manhattan thinks these two are not similar so it is coming closer to the ground rule this is good uh, these are some examples and uh, coming to the experimentation uh, there uh, you have uh, the lstm uses hidden 50 layer hidden representation uh, uh, and uh, uh, for both the uh, hidden state HD and for the memory cell CT and uh, other delta and uh, gradient clipping is used during training mm, and uh, early stopping is also used uh, based on the validation set which is 30 percent of the training examples and uh, first they train the LSTM with random uh, Gaussian noise uh, the one other thing they have we have to observe is uh, they have trained a pre-trained model of the Manhattan model using uh, there is a data set called semival uh, which is also sort of uh, semantical semantic similarity of the text, text sequences. So they have pre-trained that model first on that data, semi-well data, and uh, the pre-trained model is fine-tuned on sick data. This is sort of like transfer learning, not transfer learning. It's so a sort of uh, getting the first initialization proper and then uh, training it on sick data. And they say that uh, the using this sort of pre-training with uh, uh, pre-training with semi-well and uh, then training with uh, uh, sick data is actually good uh, other other than uh, simply directly taking the random normalization like uh, this and uh, it actually gives better performance so finally uh, we will see some results uh, so basically they have uh, Pearson correlation coefficient and uh, uh, the Pearson correlation coefficient is R and Spearsman correlation also is, uh, is rho and uh, they are computing both and uh, they also have the mean square error mean squared error and these are the different algorithms people have published over the sorry uh, sorry about that people have published over the years and uh, the competitive one is uh, the dependency tree lstm by uh, chris mannings and richard saucer's uh, paper uh, back in 2015 so this actually uh, it's actually a very good paper uh, and uh, but this manhattan lstm one actually beats all of this if you look at it and uh, this actually gives you much better results compared to any of the others so it's a good uh, good thing uh, so basically these are uh, evaluated on uh, mean square these are evaluated on six sick uh, data set the the results are uh, sorry uh, sorry uh, the results are uh, from uh, for uh, uh, sim semi well and uh, the best one is uh, as you can see is this one which is Manhattan, Manhattan LSTM and uh, coming to some some examples by uh, Manhattan sorry tree LSTM mod model uh, these are results uh, sorry sorry about that these are results from uh, tree LSTM and uh, these are results from Manhattan LSTM model as you can see uh, so a woman slicing potatoes and a woman cutting potatoes both are uh, similar both are exactly similar and uh, tree LSTM gives you 4.82 and uh, Manhattan LSTM gives you 4.87, which is way better. I mean, not way better, it's, uh, it's better than uh, tree, tree LSTM. And uh, for potatoes bearing sliced by women is also a good thing, a good uh, similar, similarly, uh, similar uh, similar to this sentence, which is, so tree LSTM is giving some good result here and um, Manhattan is a little bit suffering. Tofu is being sliced by women, it's completely different by different compared to a woman slicing potatoes so the thing of the woman is cutting is different so she wants where in the first place here she's cutting in sentence here she's saying she's cutting potatoes but in the last sentence this she says she is cutting tofu so so these are you can think of these two are like different completely different uh, sentences and uh, tree lstm still is uh, saying uh, they are semantically similar but manhattan lstm is kind of uh, giving some better results and uh, these are some of the results and uh, that is it for this paper and uh, thank you so much for watching watching my tutorial if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe thank you